Welcome back to another interesting episode and informative video again here at the Explorer. We want to thank you for watching our videos. Do you believe that the African continent has been portrayed around the world that is a place where businesses go and die, that business does not function, there is no operation and there is no return on investment? But I don't believe so and I don't see it that way. Africa is one of the fastest growing and expanding from different horizons. As we all know that when you go into the continent, there are a number of countries that will attract your interest. Today, we want to look at Kenya. If you move towards the continent and you want to focus on East Africa, the first country that will attract your interest as a foreign investor, whether you're coming from the Western environment or you are coming within the region, Kenya is a place where you want to put in your money. And while you're putting your money into this amazing country, there is definitely going to be return on investment. There are a number of things that investors should be considering. And all of this chart that I'm going to point out, Kenya just offer them in high quality. And if I'm an investor coming in to put in my money, I should be considering these particular areas. Uh, these are some of the things that will guarantee me that I'm putting my money in a country in the continent that will make sure that my investment come out in a positive direction. You just want to stay on and see what some of those opportunities that Kenya offers. The Kenyan economy, East Africa's largest, has experienced considerable growth in the past few years, driven by several key factors. The country enjoys some particularly advantages, a reasonable well-educated labor force, a vital port that serves as entry point for goods destined for countries in East Africa and Central African interiors, abundant wildlife and also kilometers of attractive coastlines and above all, a government that is committed to implementing business reforms. Kenya's economy remains one of the strongest economy in East Africa, recording a GDP growth of looking at just over 77 billion US dollars, growing at a rate of just over 4.9 percent, considering figures of 2017 and 2018, and moving down to uh, recent years. Agriculture is the most important contributor to Kenya's GDP of just over 24 percent. Tea and horticulture are the leading export earners for Kenyans. Looking at different aspects, tea and horticulture exports were valued at just over 147 billion Kenyan shillings, looking at just 1.472 billion uh, looking at US dollars. In different aspects, respectively, Africa is the leading destination of, Africans, of Kenyans export followed by Asia and Europe. Kenya's main export to Japan are tea coffee and also corn flour. Pakistan remains the leading importer of Kenyan's tea. Moving ahead, Kenya's position as the economic, commercial and logistic hub in East Africa and Central Africa as well plays the country as one of the best investment destinations globally. Foreign direct investment, looking at FDI, has been on rise in the strongest in East African region. Additionally, there are rebased gross domestic products figures that are looking at just over 58 billion as of a couple of years ago. Relevant and activities in Kenya to a lower middle income country that Kenya has been raised, one of the largest economies in sub Saharan Africa and among the fastest growing in the world. In the region, Kenya is the dominant economy in East Africa community, contributing to more than 40% of the region's GDP. This is also uniquely distinguished uh, from the many countries by the fact that Kenya's economy has far long in time been one of the most diverse with no oil uh, production, no gas exports as well. The recent discovery of oil in the Tukuna, uh, northern part of the country, is likely to strengthen and boost Kenya's economic growth. In looking at different aspects, other milestones would include things like stepping evidence in the modernization of the railways, ports, and also airports. Looking at different areas in terms of the development of the geothermal power station all puts Kenya on an accelerated developmental pedestal aspect. Also, this is further complemented by Kenyans doing a member of the, the regional bodies like for example the EAC and also COMESA, the economic region blocks, which both gives a combined market population of just over 400 million which is about half of the Africans total population. If you are new to this channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. 
We believe that Kenya just not only advance its surf in different areas just to attract business, it has a conducive climate for any emerging economy that is also within the region. And Kenya also offers opportunities in terms of its population alone. That's very attractive looking at the different numbers that it does have. Nairobi in particular is a city that in terms of it, its diverse nature, we're looking at the region. It's attracted a lot of opportunities also from different parts of across the continent, different professionals within the region. And like we've just pointed out, Nairobi is one of the highest city where you have expertise living within the African continent. Its connectivity and its flamboyant international airline, the Kenyan Airways, will offer mostly transactions within the region, across the Middle East, and also uh, in different parts across the world. This is a major hub that could transact businesses in different ways. You could fly within different countries from Europe and get into Kenya uh, within the same day. So we think that Kenya has just a lot to offer and we also believe that it's not a place that businesses will go and die because if for those companies that are already existing in the continent are doing pretty well and Kenyan companies also uh, will be tapping into the knowledge of those foreign uh, investors that are coming in and those foreign businesses that are in the country. Of course, Africa does need partners and these partners are able to work together and Kenya offers a conducive environment for those companies that are going in. In considering Kenya, if I'm talking about investing in Kenya, there are a number of things that the country does offers that will attract me. Looking at Kenya, Kenya just offers lots of tax treaties and investment promotions and protection agreements. Kenya is a signatory to a large and growing number of tax treaties and investment promotions and protections agreement, such as the Multilateral Trade System, the MTS, and the ACP the Cotonou Agreement and the African Growth and Opportunity Act. This allows exports from Kenya to enjoy preferential access to world market under a number of special access and duty reduction programs. Kenya just also offers stability in a number of areas. Since independence, Kenya has maintained remarkable stability and also despite changes in its political system that experienced some challenges few years ago. Since then, the reemergence of also multi-party democracy and promulgatory of a new constitution in 2011. Kenyans have enjoyed an increased degree of freedom, uh, which has prepared the country to become a very attractive area for businesses. In terms of regulatory reforms, Kenya is making efforts to lower the cost of doing business by conducting extensive business regulatory reforms intended to substantially reduce the number of licenses requirements and also to make licensing regimes more simple and transparent and focus on legitimate regulatory purposes. Something very important that you may consider in terms of you investing in Kenya, access to a large pool of highly educated and also skilled workforce. Kenya prides itself in a large pool of highly educated, skilled and sought after workforce in Africa trained from within the country and institutions around the world. More importantly, you want to focus on this amazing African strategic country. The location is something that plays into the mind of investors. As the leading economy in East Africa, Kenya's strategic location and its well-developed business infrastructure make it a natural choice for investors and also many international firms that have made it their uh, regional hub. The grand investors access to the large East African community a regional market with access to over 385 million consumers. Nairobi is also is a major transport hub in East Africa with connections from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport to major destinations around the world. All are occupied and convenient time zones of GMT plus 3, which will make your investment and operation health free. Despite some challenges that have been faced by this African country of Kenya, it does have its own challenges like any other country within the region. Kenya just possesses some very important strategic hub in terms of its operations. The location, as we've pointed out, is so important for investors getting into the country. Kenya is expanding as a leading economy in the, in the continent and especially in East Africa. 
We are looking at different gas pipelines and also huge investment operations within the continent that Kenya is involving in it in terms of its growth. That we are looking at how the government is also investing in different areas in terms of partnership within the region. I believe that Kenya does not only offer strategic location or better tax treaties. It is a country which has emerged on also engaged in development and growth because the Kenyan people have realized that for them not to open up their market for global economies and also original investors to come in, it's going to be an issue considering its population. This is something very important. I also want to consider when going into a particular country. I should be looking at, for example, the population wise, looking at how skillful the population is. As I've analyzed in, our, in the operations in the past couple of uh, minutes, uh, we've seen that. Uh, not just that Kenyans are educated within the region, uh, they are also educated around the world. And as an investor, you have the opportunity to attract those Kenyans that are working in some of the international businesses and companies all over the world. This particular hub is a place when you move into East Africa, Kenya will offer almost everything that you will need in terms of you growing your business. So it's a place that will open and is currently open and attract businesses to offer lots of opportunities for those who are looking to take that challenge and also get a return on their investment. Kenya just also offered a developed social and physical infrastructure, which is very important for every investor. Kenya affords a pleasant and quality standard of living with a spectacular and diverse natural resources, also ranging from wildlife and also sceneries, including the world's famous Maasai Mara. The country also boosts uh, some of the highest quality social amenities, such as restaurants, hospitals, and also entertainment sport, a good reason why the country has the highest number of expatriates living and working in Kenya. And considering that, a full liberalized economy. Kenya fully liberalized its economy by removing all obstacles that previously hampered the free flow of trade and private investment. This includes exchange controls, import and export licenses, as well as uh, restrictions uh, in terms of remittance of profits and dividends. In different areas, in terms of its market, it's a preferential market access. Kenya is signatory of a number of multi and uh, multilateral and bilateral trade agreements are part of the trade policy. Kenya is a member of the World Trade Organization, making her the product and access to more than 90% of the world's market at most favored nations in terms of the treatment. In addition, Kenya is a member of several also trade agreements beneficiary uh, to enhance schemes that includes the African Growth and Opportunities Act, which we've pointed out, the trade agreement and the common market of East and Southern uh, Africa. In considering this, as a well-established and a local private sector, which is a vibrant one, so to point out, Kenya has a very substantial private sector including a significant number of foreign investors and also it's taunted as one of the most resilient in the world's economy. The country has always been a market economy. Key players in voicing private sector concerns include the Kenyan Private Sector Alliance, Federation of Kenyan Employers, the FKE, and also the Kenyan Association of, Mod of Manufacturers and furthermore, the government also frequent conducts regular policy dialogue and private sector players through the prime ministry's uh, regulatory issues. This, all of these particular areas makes investing in Kenya a huge success. And for those of you who plan to enter this market, it will provide you not just the opportunity, but again, it will show you that you are in one of those African countries that businesses don't just go and die. They go in and they come out uh, with well investment money and also come out with huge return on investment. In considering this, we want to believe that Kenya has a lot of opportunities in terms of its universities and training centers and different businesses that will also engage with your own business while you are translating business in, in this particular part of the continent. Are you from Kenya? Do you believe that Kenya has what it takes for investors to come in to uh, also uh, basically um, make this particular uh, region or country uh, be a center of their oppression? Do you believe Kenya is more competitive at what it was 10 years ago today? Let us know. If you are from Nairobi and if you are from one of the regional parts across Kenya, 
Tell us why Kenya should be a place where people should come in and invest and also put in their billions and their millions so they can also reap off the benefits uh, from their investment. I want to thank you for watching the Explorer. We shall looking forward to meeting you soon. We encourage you to give this video a like and we shall be joining you soon again and have a good day. Bye-bye.